morning everyone. Oh, dito, nandito na naman tayo ulit. Um, this time, our topic is why is it important to have a greenhouse or a green box? Or why is it important na kahit pa na may cover yung mga plants natin, yung mga sakis natin. So, I'll show you my zoom out. Ayan. Okay. Um, for me, the reason why I wanted to, well, initially I created this one, my first green box. I did it by myself. Um, bumili lang ako ng uh, uh, 3 by 2 This one, ano? 3 by 2 planks. And then, apat. 6 na 8 feet yan. Uh, nasa 400 yata or 200, uh, 300 yata I think each na plank no? so 4 planks and then everything is attached by um, 2 inch uh, black screws so I just screwed them all together ayan, kita mo it's just all screwed in and then um, sa ilalim niya ginamit ko lang is yung plastic na yung sa mga dog cages na ano, but Daka support siya all the way by several um, several wood planks. Anywho, why is it important? Because for me, um, I knew from the very beginning that I was planning to um, buy a lot of um, succulents na may farina. And I really wanted to make sure that I can maintain the integrity of the farina. So now it's um, around 12 noon. So tahaling tapat ngayon dito naka full filtered sun sila. Ayan. So, yung todong init ng araw, um, you can see, pero, covered sila, ng partial, um, na filter na, no, nung, yung, yung araw. Um, how do I, how can I prove that? So, if you see on the floor, ayan, ano, so, th this part, medyo shaded siya, versus this part, na wala. Uh, na medyo, that is because nakukovera naman siya nung UV sheet na nilagay ko this one, itong UV sheet na nilagay ko, ito naman yung partial shade niya, and then this is direct sun ayan, that's direct sun so makikita mo yung level of heat or sun exposure kapag full kapag may UV screen and polycarb which is on that side um, again for Korean succulents, I really, uh, they really prefer full filtered light. Why? Because they were cultivated or lahat sila pinalaki sa, uh, sa greenhouse. Hindi naman sila naka full sun and rain. So especially with for imported Korean plants, halos lahat sila eh, pinalaki po sa greenhouse. So to put them outside ng naka full sun sila, would be very difficult for them because mahirapan sila mag-adjust dahil nga sanay sila ng full filtered lang um, compared to our other succulents like yung local natin na kinakaya na full sun ano. so even this one meron akong UV sheet para pag ang, ang hangi ang araw eh tanghaling tapat hindi siya ganun ka hot ito po full full, uh, full sun Ito yung may UV. ba? May difference, no? So, even the, if, even sa touch mo, no? Sa pakiramdam, medyo masakit sa araw, sa balat, yung, um, masakit sa balat, yung full sun, compared when I put my hands inside, nawawala kahit na paano yung heat, yung init, no? So, thus, the plants are getting, um, the proper nutrients. The second level, which is parang naka bright shaded na lang siya. This is where I place my variegated um, variegated plants or yung mga plants na merong variegation like this one, yung super bomb, yung Mrs. Richards uh, Mrs. Richards variegata. Ayan, yung mga full var na super bomb. And then dito ko rin po nilalagay yung mga halaman ko na hindi pa Rooted. So, dito ko nilalagay yung mga plants ko na nag adjust pa lang. Same thing, nasa second level ko rin po yung mga small ones. Kasi ang small ones, it's harder for them to um, to be ano, uh, exposed to full sun. Ayan. Pero yung nasa top deck ko, nandyan yung mga 
uh, mahilig sa araw. Ayan. Itong by Nessie actually, um, kahit variegated siya, kinakaya niya. Kasi, ang maganda sa kanya, kapag naaarawan siya, um, mas lalo pumupula. So, same with Ellen, who loves to be in the sun. Um, Graptopatellum SP uh, uh, sa, uh, sa Deveria Pudgy. Um, si Mason, gusto niya rin ng araw. Um, si Ars, Ars eh, si um, Hermes, and si Sedum Clavatum. They like the sun, but kailangan filtered siya. So, here, I only use um, I only use UV plastic kasi uh, gusto kong may roll up siya. Uh, what does the roll up look like? Uh, and then, panahin ko lang to. Pero, yung aking mga um, full sun and full rain are my clumps. Yeah. Tsaka local ko sila. Kasi, naka-clump naman sila. Kakayanin nila yung full sun dahil sila naman, most of them, where lahat sila pag sa farm sa Benguet, naka full sun naman sila. Exposed sila sa elements. Compared sa mga um, Korean succulents na hindi naka-experience ng full sun. And then, yung bottom ko, bottom layer ko, are my leaf propagations, my litops, my baby toes, and si Dacephylum major, at saka yung pinagpatulan ko ng Choco Moonstone ko. Pati si Haworthia, nasa likod siya. Kasi, sila naman po, um, they're really not, they're fine with bright area, bright shaded area. So, happy na sila dyan. Pati itong um, variegated ko na sa Dumclavotum. Second row lang siya. Bright area lang siya kasi kaka-start ka pa lang mag-roots. So, yun po. Yun yung, for me, yung importance ng um, having uh, a roof over their heads. Kasi nga, what we're trying to do is to mimic their environment, their natural environment, which is, we don't have it here in the Philippines. Kasi sa dito sa Philippines, it's, you know, our weather, our, our weather is erratic. Minsan, kahit summer, minsan umuulan, tas biglang init, which they don't have where they naturally came from. So, parang ingrained na kasi sa kanila yun na eh. hindi sila talaga pang, uh, pang ulanan, no? So, um, if they say na, ah, ang hirap na maalagaan ng succulents, medyo mahirap po talaga. And it takes commitment to be able to take care of, um, plants like these. Pero, worth it naman po. So, um, eto, um, kung gusto nyo po talagang maging seryoso sa hobby, I suggest, you know, if you can do DIYs, eto, like what I do, these are just shelves that I got from, um, landers. And then, pinatunga, pin, nilagyan ko na lang siya ng, um, UV plastic, which you can buy, uh, sa Shopee or Lazada. And then, I just remove, pag umuulan, I can just remove. And then, latag ko na lang siya. Ayan. So, covered na siya ngayon, pag umuulan. Sa likod, hindi naman kasi, usually, dyan tumatama yung ulan. It usually comes from, from this side, yung, yung ano ko, yung, yung ulan. So, okay na siya dyan, na-covered siya. Or sometimes, I put this, hinahang ko sa kabila para may parang bubong na siya. Ayan. So, anyways, I hope this is helpful for all of you who are asking how I was able to maintain the farina of my plants and how I was able to make them look flawless kung paano ko sila nagagawang maging flawless. Ito po yung reason why. Nag-ano talaga ako, nag-invest po ako sa, sa UV plastic and sa polycarbonate or sa green box, para po talagang hindi sila na, hindi po talaga na damage ang kanilang farina. Anyways, thank you very much for watching again, and if you have questions, just comment below. See ya!